Hey, hey, Chelsea Ray again. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install our DIY ductless mini splits for your grow space. There are, <clears throat> there are two parts to a ductless air system. The condenser unit, which is located outdoors, plus the evaporator or head, which is located in your space. The two are connected with a line set and a condensate drain line. Here's the equipment you're going to need. A box cutter, a level, a stud finder, a drill, a two and three fourths diameter hole saw, two crescent wrenches, spray bottle with soapy water, plus the Allen wrench that comes in the box. Okay, let's get started. First up, your condenser. When setting the outdoor unit, make sure the surface is level and you have a pad to elevate the unit. You can also use a metal mounting bracket. Both can be found on our website. Also, make sure you have the right amount of clearance to avoid damage to your unit. All right, let's head in and look at the evaporator. The evaporator should be high on the wall, leaving at least 10 inches of clearance on all sides. Next, locate the studs, ensure that you're level, and secure the bracket to the wall. With your bracket in place, drill a two and three quarter inch hole for your line set and drain. Be sure to angle the hole downward five to 10 degrees for proper condensate drainage. Run your line set and drain line through the wall on the outside. Finally, to hang the indoor unit, simply slide the unit down on the exposed pin hooks at the top of the bracket and push the bottom in until the tab clicks and locks into place. Don't forget to add the rest of your drain line outside. Let's hook up the wire between the two units. All right, I think this one goes here. Um, this to that, and these guys go here. Perfect. Hooking up your line set is easy. Connect the large suction line to the large stem and the small liquid line to the small stem. Use your wrenches to tighten both couplings down to spec. Next, remove the valve caps and open the valves until they stop. Don't force the valves after you feel them stop. Finally, flip the breaker and power everything on. When the unit lights up, power on your system. With your system running, check for leaks on the outdoor unit by spraying some soapy water on the line connections. If you see bubbles, use your wrenches to tighten down the fittings. After that, you should be all set. I'm Chelsea Ray, and if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.